Welcome back to The Five. Well, as you know, it's a very special day for President George W. Bush as his library and museum opened up in Dallas earlier today. Dana Perino was there and had the unique opportunity to interview 43 and get a tour of the center from the president himself. She's back with us now from Dallas, DP. Thanks so much, Andrea. I, what I wanted to do was uh, not break any news here. I wanted to take people to meet the President George W. Bush that I knew. I mean, of course, as you know, I talk about him probably too much on the show, but he meant a ton to me. There's a replica of the Oval Office at this library, and I got to interview him there. Take a look. Mr. President? Welcome back to the Oval Office, Dana. It's a little eerie because it feels like I should be preparing you for a press conference. Exactly. Um, and I see you still have a clean desk. Which is a good policy to have. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, uh, it is eerie in a sense. Uh, we made sure that the Oval Office looked exactly like it was uh, during my presidency. And including the flowers. Including the flowers. And we want people uh, to be able to come in here and get a sense of the majesty of the office. Uh, th this is the only office in a museum where, the, where a visitor can sit behind the desk or, you know play like they're making a phone call, mm -hmm. and, uh, and have their picture taken. So I think it's going to be a, a real attraction. The last day of your presidency, yes, I was there, uh, and I came in to say goodbye, and you said um, something I thought maybe you could repeat. It was about coming into office on the first day, wanting to make sure that when you left, that you could look yourself in the mirror yeah. and say, I stuck to my principles. Yeah, I think it's important uh, in life, and it's definitely important for the president, to have a set of principles that one is willing to defend. Uh, and uh, so when I left Midland, I told a crowd of 30,000 friends, I'm leaving with a set of principles. I'm thankful for the lessons and principles I learned here in Midland, Texas. I'm thankful for my friends. I'll come back to see you soon. God bless. <laughs> And when I came back in front of the same 30, although we looked a lot older, <laughs> I said, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't sell my soul. In other words, the principles are still an important part mm -hmm. of my life. Through it all, I, I, I stay true to those convictions. And I'm coming home with my head held high and a sense of accomplishment. That's important uh, when you're running an organization so that the people who work with you know what you believe in and know those beliefs won't change. Uh, it made it easier to be your press secretary. Well, thank you. Do you remember when um, the five presidents were here I in do. front of this desk? Very well. And I thought, what a picture to the world that America yeah. can set disagreements aside. Well, we're about to have the same picture. Mm -hmm. uh, when we open this Bush Center, uh, the president will be here, mm -hmm. as will former presidents, the members of the former presidents club, including President 41, which. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a joyous day yes. and a day to give thanks, but I'm particularly joyful about the fact that my dad will be there, because I didn't think he was going to be there. A lot of us didn't. No, that's right. But he is, he's stronger than all of us put together. Well, yeah, we underestimated him. I'm going to ask you about the portrait, yeah. uh, because there are replicas here. Uh, it is just like the Oval Office. Can we walk over? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So there's a portrait of George Washington. Yes. There's also other paintings here of Texas life, and of course, this is one of my favorites is Charge, charge to, to Keep. Keep, yep. Yeah. Which when you, when you, as a staff member, when you walk in from over there and then you would see that, yeah. it would you know, re-ground you. This is Abraham Lincoln. This is the spot uh, where a president puts the most influential president. In other words, there's a tradition where each president picks a president. And uh, I chose Lincoln. Now, in my case, influential president uh, has got a lot of... Meaning, you know, because my dad is by far the most influential president. Uh, a matter of fact, I wouldn't be here as a former president without his unconditional love. Right. And so I tell people 41's portraits in my heart, and I put Lincoln on the wall. And I, I uh, read a lot about Lincoln uh, during the presidency and uh, came to admire him, you know, tremendously. I mean, he's a man who stood on principle. Right. All men are created equal under God, and he had a great vision for the country. In other words, leadership requires vision and principles, and Lincoln is a great example of that. As your library opens, a lot of people will be asking you again, mm -hmm. what will your legacy be? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of an overused word, legacy this, legacy that. I'm asked all the time about my legacy, and my answer is, um, 
you know, it's just going to take time. History and, will decide. And I'm comfortable with that. I really am comfortable. I know I gave it my all. I know I didn't sell my soul. I know we dealt with some pretty tough problems. Of course, every president deals with tough problems. I know I had a great team. You and did. Uh, I did. And uh, <laughs> I know our White House was a joyful place. Yeah. Uh, That's what you used to say. It's um, every day was it was stressful but joyful. Just stressful but joyful. That's right. Yeah. It really was. It was quite an honor to serve, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Best thing of my life. Yeah, me too. By far. So that was my interview with President Bush in the Oval Office. I had a chance to talk to him some more, which we'll get to later. But what'd you think? <laughs> Dan, I thought you did a great job. And, um, you know, he's had a very joyous last month. You know, his dad looking good, the mm -hmm. birth of his granddaughter, and, of course, now this yep. library. Um, what, what is the one thing, if you could tell the viewers at home, that they might not know about the president? I've only met him a couple times, and I thought he was so humble. And I think that a lot of people maybe miss that. What's the one thing, having known him so well, that you think people should know about him? One of the things he taught me was forgiveness and how important forgiveness is in leadership. And I try to remember that um, on a daily basis. It was one of the best lessons I ever learned. Kimberly? Dana, what was one of the most special moments for you today? I mean, right from the beginning when I started watching it, I felt emotional when I saw his father sitting there next to him speaking. And I thought about the fact when he was ill and the fact that he was there today to be with them, I know was so important to the family. How about for you? There's so many, Kimberly, but I think it would have to be, there's the 41 piece that was really important to me, but at the very end of President Bush's remarks, um, when his voice catches, that's that love for America and for his family and the gratitude for everybody that helped make those years possible, all the people that were lost on 9-11 in Iraq, um, in Katrina, all the big decisions. I think that that captured today for me. We hear it in your voice too, DP. <laughs> All right, we'll be I'm right back. I'm going to cry. I can tell. I can tell. All right, we'll be right back with.